Salute, 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 CGO family, what's good, what's good, what's good Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what time of the day it is that you're watching this, man I'm here to drop a video on y'all, man, to do a little Forex talk, man Or can I say Forex talk anymore, I gotta call it Forex Futures Options Talk, man Trader talk Anyway, this is really gonna be money talk But, um, yeah, I hopped in this video just to give y'all a quick little rundown on some stuff And uh, just to have a little chat with y'all, because it's been a little minute since I posted a video For those of y'all who do consistently rock with your boy Um if you're new to the channel, of course, hit the like, comment, subscribe, do the usual stuff to help the channel grow, please. I would appreciate that. Uh, for those of y'all asking me about how can y'all learn some of my strategies, I have a mentor tab and the uh, YouTube channel. Just hit the um, subscribe button. And if you hit the subscribe button, there's a members button. You can hit the members tab and you can come, uh, you know, you can join the trader chair and get my mentorship videos that are there. Or you could get the course, which is manual trading. If you like what you see in the manual trading course, then I should recommend you get the robots preferably any of the bank series robots to start out or you get the cloud which is what i started with or you get any other robots and then if you like what you see from there then you get a one-on-one i help you optimize the robot and you should be good from there and then you just trade with it learn the strategies and then you'll be a consistent be profitable trader hopefully you know you can't guarantee anything but you should most people who come to me are returning customers so people who come to me come back that's a good sign and i've been doing this for four years now so there you go. So let's get into the video. Okay, today's video, I wanna to talk to y'all about the numbers of uh, trading, and I wanna to talk to y'all about everything that's going on. And I gotta to talk to y'all about the scamming because um, a lot of y'all are hitting me up in the Discord, messaging me and um, um, leaving messages in the Discord talking about someone's impersonating me. And what disturbed me about this is not that it's happening because it's been happening for the last two years, which you would think I had a, a lot more subscribers. I don't know why they're impersonating little old me, but I digress. Maybe they see the potential. What disturbed me is the fact that you guys are actually holding conversations with people. And I have to make this video because I need to let y'all know, listen, I don't DM people. I, I would like to. I don't even follow nobody. And this is the reason, because it was a lot of bad experiences with me following people. There's a lot of bad experiences with a lot of things. I would follow people. Then they would unfollow me. They would act. They would they would get finicky with me. And I don't like that because those are signs that if I blow up on youtube these are the people that will act like they mess with me but if you mess with somebody you don't unfollow them i hate when people do stuff like that so i just don't follow anybody so anyway i digress on that right um yeah i would not dm anybody and we got to talk about the scamming thing if a person who is a trader who says they're profitable is dming you to sell you services even with my robots when i bring my robots out i will i don't ignore you guys you know, I have been ignoring messages lately because it's the, it's the only reason I do do that. I see the message. But if it's something I answer repeatedly, I'm not going to answer it anymore. I feel like I don't have to keep you just do a little research on me before you decide to invest any money in something like if you see a robot you like, do a little looking around, look in the discord, look on a website, you know, do a little looking around and then make your uh, decision. Don't just ask me and then I, I, yeah, that's why these gurus do what they do. If you ask me, of course, I'm gonna say what you wanna hear to take your money. You get what I'm saying? So I try to keep things genuine because I've been on the other receiving end of bad robots, bad uh, trading, bad courses, bad service. And I don't, I, I, I try not to be that way. So that's why I'm telling you this. So just vet, vet me vet me before you decide to ask me a question look for yourself don't just take my word for it and i'm not telling y'all to try and come off like a good guy or honest person i'm telling y'all because it's the fucking truth all right so please just vet me man vet everybody who you gonna spend money in um i have robots that cost five figures you get what i'm saying so i haven't put those out but if you're gonna spend some money even if it's a hundred dollars it's your money you should you know know your money's going to a good place um with that being said, so if you see someone messaging you about crypto, let me tell you all the rules of crypto for those who don't know. I came into the trading community from crypto community, started out crypto trading. Then I went into options and futures. Then I went into Forex. That's how it went. I was doing futures and options trying to see because I felt it was more professional. Forex was way easier and I slid into Forex. And I'm going to talk about why that's actually making the Wall Street people mad because I just got the date on this. So we'll talk about this in this video. So get your popcorn and your drink, pause it, because it's going to be one of those type of videos, one of my usual long-form videos. So with that being said, um, yeah, so people are telling me that they're holding conversations. Someone even told me they were spending some money. I kind of don't believe that, but I'm going to take your word for it for the two people who told me that. 
Um, I don't ask people for crypto. I don't even accept crypto as a payment of any kind. So if you hear anything about crypto out of my mouth, let me tell y'all the rules of crypto trading. Crypto investors, people like me who are people who believe in use case utility tokens. I'm a person who believes in the actual crypto being a use case, uh, you know, uh, item. It's not something I believe is just an investment. It's a stock. It's not a stock to me. Ethereum is a use case crypto that can be used to help the country, uh, you know, digitally spend money faster. I believe in crypto. I'm not a person that just looks at it and say, let me put some money in. If it go up, I take my money up. It's fine to be that way, but I'm not one of those people. I actually believe that technology can help society grow. So I'm one of those people who actually believe in the crypto. I'm not a person who just uses it. For us, the people who believe in crypto, who trade it, my friend who put me into crypto, he told me all the time, when you start amassing a crypto investment of a large portion or a good amount of money, do not tell nobody. And I kept wondering why he was saying that. And I'm going to tell you all real fast. So if you came to my channel in the beginning years in 2019, 2020, whenever I started it, I had nothing but crypto videos up there. And then I saw that the crypto scams was popping off. And I felt like, oh, man, how are people going to tell the difference between me and a crypto person? So I started taking the videos down. OK, so that's what happened. So the first year I was doing complete crypto, even though I was still trading, I, I was still trading uh, futures and options. I switched to tr putting uh, trading videos up when I got into Forex. So that's how it started. That's why you don't see no options or futures trades on my channel. Because when I switched from Bitcoin and Ethereum and all that, I was trading all those coins. I was trading crypto. I was investing in crypto and flipping crypto. I should say I was pumping and dumping crypto. Wasn't even trading it. I was actually buying it and holding it. It's, you know, buying low and selling high. That's what I was doing. That's technically what I was doing. It's not trading. It's similar to trading, but I wasn't trading. So anyway, with that being said, the first rule of uh, crypto trading is do not tell people. So if people are talking to you about crypto, that's a sign that they're a scammer. Not saying all people are like this, but most people who, who take crypto serious, making money, they do not talk to other people. Why? Because people get hacked and they get fished. So prime example, when I started developing my uh, Bitcoin investments, Bitcoin was at 30,000, 20 something thousand. Mave was at 20 something, I think it's 21,000. When I started investing into it, Ethereum was $40. I told everybody, hey, put money into these two coins. Everybody laughed at me. I told my best friend, I said, hey, Ethereum is going to go to a thousand dollars. He thought I was crazy. I put a couple hundred in that forty dollars. I had about seven to eleven Ethereum tokens. I watched Ethereum go from forty dollars to eighty dollars to eight hundred dollars to eleven hundred dollars. So I 10 x my money. That's what they call mooning, right? I 10 x my money. And my uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum 10 x I put a lot of money into it. I put it like that. And everyone in my family, when they saw Bitcoin hit 60 something thousand, everyone, yo, you got, you got, you was, the, you was telling me about this crypto stuff, man. Yo, yo, let me hold some. I said, yo, this is why they say do not tell people. Because once crypto does these things like what Bitcoin is doing right now, everybody remembers you was the guy that was talking about it. So they start looking for you. There was a guy who got chopped up and dismembered over Bitcoin. And I'll put that in the Discord, the story, if you want to check it out. This is why they say do not tell people, because when your crypto moons, if people know you have it, you become dangerous to people who don't or people get mad or whatever. They try to hack you. You become a target. So if people are openly DMing you talking about crypto and this and that, they're scamming. The thing you need to know about the scamming is that some of the people who do the scamming, they're pretending that they're not the people. There's a rapper who is pretending to be so, that pretending he's hot. He's asking people for money to put you on a mixtape. And then when they go, what happened? He says, oh, I was hot. And I'm like, how is he continuing to do this and get away with it? So don't please believe some of these people. They're pretending that they're hot or that someone's impersonating them. That's them running scams on y'all too. So y'all have to protect yourselves because do not think that these people do not make money or they don't have it worked out where somebody's doing it and they're kicking them back money and all that. It's You cannot trust none of this stuff. It's all nasty work. So please, I do not DM people first. If you DM me, I'm not no stuck up person. I will respond and I'll talk to you. If you're asking me, yo, do you have a course? Yo, uh, uh, just the coursework and you didn't go look and see the testimonials and check everything out. I'm not going to sell myself to you when it's right there. I put a testimonial page of real 
traders who came to me and a lot of those people are repeat customers they come back and they start adding to the repertoire and they they see like i saw when i started out with one indicator and one robot you learn it you start adding pieces to it and you get a system then once you get the system down pat you no longer need the indicators in the system you can trade manually how many people who have came to me and when they left metatrader they were able to go somewhere else and manually trade my course is a manual course and i'm not saying it's to sell anything i'm just telling y'all to so y'all know because y'all keep asking me so understand you can't you got to be skeptical of everything and don't be asking people yo should i buy your stuff because of course they're going to tell you yes of course I'm gonna tell you yes, but I'm not that type of person. I gotta know if it's gonna help you. I don't wanna sell you something and it doesn't help you and then you're mad at me. Just like there's some people who have brought software from me and they disappeared. I see them in other channels, comments and in, in places. They, I don't know what's going on, but the only thing I know is what they brought from me works because other people are posting that it works for them. So hopefully when they see that, they could go, okay, maybe I need to just stick to it like Jimmy told me. Because one thing people have is in a short tension span and they definitely, definitely are dick riders. A lot of y'all be just glazing. I love that term because it's what y'all do. Y'all be glazing shit. And I, it is what it is. But that's not how you're going to master something by glazing one bone and glazing another. Stop glazing people and just, if you don't glaze someone, glaze one person. Stop being a whore with that mouth. Stop showing everybody what that mouth do. I eat. Sorry, I got vulgar, but I had to tell y'all. I had to make it sound disgusting so y'all can understand it. It's disgusting work out here. But anyway, I digress. So let's talk about trading. So according to Wall Street Trader, the number's in, guys. Y'all, wait till I tell y'all this. 40 million people since the pandemic happened have came into the trading industry as retail traders. The number is over 40 million people. So since 2020, we have 40 million people who entered trading. And they said that the Wall Street market hated it. The institutional traders hated all of those retail traders entering. And this was triggering all the stuff with the meta quotes. Meta quotes is being sued in a RICO for half a million dollars. Meta quotes is in a situation where when someone gets sued, if, if say you get into a car accident, you sue the insurance, you sue the driver. You might sue the car company because something might have been recalled. You sue anybody that you can and see who's going to pay out and who's liable for what. And MetaTrader got caught in that type of situation because somebody got scammed and they used the broker to do it. And the broker was on MetaTrader. So the broker's gone. And now MetaTrader sitting there holding the bag on that situation. And they have to deal with a $500,000 $500, lawsuit. So for those who don't know, that's what's happening with MetaTrader right now. And that's why they're chopping off all the unregulated uh, brokers and prop firms because they don't want no shady businesses they prepare for this lawsuit. Now, why am I bringing this up to y'all? I'm bringing this up to y'all to one, give you the knowledge, but two, to tell you this is crazy because these brokers and prop firms should have helped MetaTrader settle this lawsuit instead of letting all this happen. But it's good that it happened because it needed to clean out this industry. But we are here now and that's what's happening. And now you have futures and options people trading. And guess what? You're not going to see a lot of the stupid stuff you see on the futures and options side because it costs too much money. I told you all this. Brokers are asking for $2,500. You know, to, to some, some prop firms for you. This is how it used to be before 2020. Um, it was before 2020 that they were doing this. But you used to have to have at least $10,000 of trade. I remember when I first heard about trading before I even thought about taking it. When I looked and saw that I needed like $10,000 to trade, I just put it to the side, which I wouldn't have did that. But I first learned about trading like 07. And I heard it back then. I was like, oh, they want too much money. Then I heard you could get a trading account with $10. I was like, wait a minute. When I came back, I said, oh, wait, I could come in here with $10. I can't, always came in with 1000 That was my first account with $1,000. But I think my first deposit was 200 and you can still get a, a, a legit broker for $200. You got to know where to go, but that's not what it's about. So you're not going to see as much scamming now. And Forex is pretty much everyone's making it like not cool to trade Forex. So we're going to see a lot of people, a lot of this dying out, which is what's happening. So that's actually good. I'm a little disappointed in the retail traders that I deal with because I see a lot of y'all abandon the ship. But I guess we kind of got to have that purge happen in order to get things back where it need to be. So I'm okay with it for the most part in the long grand scheme of things. But when I look at the Discord and I see people not trading on Forex Forex at all anymore, I'll be like, damn, y'all really just abandoned it. 
but it is what it is i mean i'm a swing trader so it will it's not really designed for me to trade futures anyway but i do trade futures but i'm getting more into closing my trades every day again and i'm actually starting to take less trades and i'm actually starting to just like trade less because i like not having to be looking at my charts 24 7 and i'm automating myself to the point where i don't have to worry i'm gonna set it and forget it cat i'm using tp stop loss trailing stop and i'm out of it and it's that's that's what i've been practicing for the last year and a half and i got very good at it so i don't really be stressing trades i'll be sleeping while i'm trading and i'll be waking up to tps hitting and everything and i'm loving it i'm really loving that so with that being said, I figured I'd just give you guys a quick video and go over these things with y'all let y'all know what's happening with MetaTrader. So hopefully MetaTrader wins a lawsuit. If they do, then things should get back to normal. But I don't think these, these unregulated brokers and prop firms are coming back. The prop firms are out here going crazy on everybody. I could honestly say I received my payouts and I'm not owed anything by any prop firm right now. However, my accounts are just floating i don't like what's happening i had a couple of accounts get closed on me ftmo closed all but one account for me um i got have a i have a feeling i'm gonna look and see when i go to log into my last account and it's gonna be gone and i kind of don't care no more i'm i'm over prop firms right now um people ask me hey well are you gonna get a prop firm from the future side i think i'm i think i'm gonna take a break guys um, I might do it. I used to I used to chase the certificates. I used to just want to get the certificates. And honestly, when somebody came in one of my videos and I posted my certificate, he said the certificate was fake. And I'm like, that kind of crushed me because you I, you don't got to let people see sweat. But I'm going to tell you why it bothered me. It bothered me because you work hard to get that shit. And when you get it, somebody does that. And then, you know, people come in there. And thank God people kind of understood this guy was a, a hater. But at the end of the day, it made me mad because I'm like, yo, how? why is the one comment about it going to be negative? Like, I get comments and the comments is negative. You're like, bro, you know how hard I work to get this? So I asked him. I said, yo, why are you saying my certificate's fake? His excuse was, oh, it don't have a barcode. And I'm like, this is what pisses me off about trading. Bro, you just got here if you think certificates have barcodes when they first came out. My certificate was from 2001 or something like that. I mean, 2021 or something like that. They didn't have barcodes yet. You know what I'm saying? So I was just looking like, I'm like, wow, bro, you you don't know that. And there you go. So had I not asked and we had a conversation, I would have been probably still mad about that because the man just called my stuff fake just because. Because it didn't meet the understanding that he had that they just started putting barcodes on certificates when you got here. I was here before you. I was here before that. So there you go. So I learned to be careful with these rabbit holes and how deep you get. Just stay focused. Stop letting stuff distract you. Stop letting people distract you. Stop going over here because he making it look shinier than yours and all that nonsense. Just stick to what you're doing and that's it. So I learned a lot in the last couple months just by watching how people flip flop, how people switch up and how everything changes. But like I said, in the grand scheme, I'm like, we needed this. I preached about this on my channel that this day is coming. It came and we needed to, you know, cleanse. We need that Noah's Ark event. We need to flood the earth so we can rebuild. We need to, you know, keep that going. So I'm actually happy. So I see people trading options and futures and they, they're happy. Hey, I'm happy for y'all. I'm still on MetaTrader trading options and futures. I'm going to make a video showing all of that when I'm ready. I just ain't ready because I want to roll everything out in one big thing so people can have it because I don't post like I used to as far as making videos. Maybe I want to get warm again. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's the updates I wanted to give y'all. Stop getting scammed, man. Stop like people who are doing that are not making money. If you're a trader making money, you should not have time to be in the DM scamming your uh, followers. You shouldn't be scamming people. Um, people who are pretending to be other people scamming people. Just know that if you think it's me, why would I be DMing you for Bitcoin, for money, for stuff if I'm trading? It doesn't make sense. And I'm going to tell you all some people go, no, that's not necessarily true. Yes, passive income, other streams of income, yada, yada, yada. But to a point, you got to use your head. If I am a profitable trader, why am I DM, DMing you talking about give me $200 in Bitcoin and all this type of nonsense? And I just use that number. Don't think if it happens to be the number, it was actually me just guessing. But I'm just telling you all just use your head for a second and realize that's a red flag something's not right if a person is trading they should not be dming you trying to sell you something even when i bring new software out or i do updates to my software um i do like upgrades for people i don't even hit them up yo 
I got the upgrade, my boy. And I pull out the trench coat like, yo, I got the upgrade for, 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 the, for the 9999. I don't even do that. I'll put it out on YouTube so everyone can see it. And whoever's interested hits me up. And then we go from there. You know what I mean? I don't DM people because honestly, I would like to do that. And I, there is a thing where like, people legitimately do that. That's marking. I don't though. I don't do it because I feel like if you fuck with it, you're going to get with it. You ain't going I, I shouldn't have to ask you, yo, you want to be, you want to fuck with some hot shit that I got? Yo, I got that fire, boy. You want this? I shouldn't have to do that. You should be able to look for yourself as an adult and be like, yo, you know what? This looks promising. Let me invest. Let me invest in TGO's uh, software because everything you buy from me, it's a tool. It's going to give you something valuable, whether it be today or tomorrow. I don't care what nobody says. Everything I make is to hunt that price down to cook these brokers and prop firms. Why? Because they used to cook my ass. And that's my motive. So I think that's a good motive to have. I think you want to be on my side. I trade like the institutions, but I'm a retail trader. And that's what makes my stuff more John Blaze, baby. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope people got some good perspectives from what I put in this video because I took my time to make it for y'all. I had to stop what I was doing. I have I got me some coffee and everything. I'm ready to go. I'm putting the finishing touches on my software. I've been trading with it for months. I'm going to release some pieces of software. I am. Um, I have promises that I got to keep. So I told some people I was going to give them some software. So I said, you know, what? since I'm going to give it to certain people, I'll put it out publicly. Whoever want to mess with it, mess with whoever don't, don't. Uh, you will be able to trade futures when I show you all what I'm doing and you will have a couple of options. Just know some of those options are very cheap and some of those options are very expensive. It's up to you how you want to go but just know if you plan on coming into the futures and options side just expect to know that you're going to be spending more money than you did in forex because what was happening in forex was outright bullshit. okay so a lot of people caught on and now we're here so hopefully you liked you commented and hopefully if you didn't subscribe you are going to subscribe now and look out for these new videos with me showing y'all the new trading software i promise y'all i put my foot in it guys Y'all going to see some new stuff, man. And it's not about, oh, is it going to make you rich? It's about, yo, if you can't pop off with this, it ain't meant for you to pop off at all, B. Is that, is that real? So I'm not going to brag. I'm just going to let it speak for itself when I drop it. I've been giving y'all little teasers on Instagram. If you're not on my Instagram page, I don't know why you're not. But I'll be posting in the stories little teasers and stuff. I put little clips out. But um, I kind of got, I, I've i been looking at y'all charts and y'all not on tra MetaTrader 4. And I'm like, man, I, I feel like I'm on some outdated-ish. So I, I moved over to MetaTrader 5 and I made some stuff for that. And I uh, made some stuff for TradingView. And I don't want to talk about the rest, but y'all see it. So I'm in the video here. Y'all be good. Stay out, be safe. Please try to be healthy. And please, please, please try to protect yourself out there because we're living in some crazy times. Okay? Y'all already know what I'm going to say at the end of the video, right? Y'all should know if y'all on Instagram. TGO, invest in yourself before somebody else do it. I'm out of here. Peace. Contact me on Telegram or you can email me. I enjoy. I'm out of here. Peace and happy trading.